The White House is one of the most recognizable buildings in the world. You know you're dealing with someone important if their house is named. But it's not just the house that's named. The rooms in the White House are named. The blue room, the green room, the, the yellow room, the red room, the Lincoln bedroom, the situation room, the Oval Office. If your house is named, you're important. But if the rooms in your house are named, you must be really important. And it's not just the rooms that are named, the furniture. This is a picture of the Resolute Desk. It sits in the Oval Office and has been used by several presidents. It was a gift from Queen Victoria to President Rutherford B. Hayes in 1880. It was built from the timbers of a British ship that got stuck in the Arctic ice and abandoned in 1854. How important must you be if your house, the rooms in your house, and the furniture in the rooms of your house are all named? And, and what, do you, what do you call the person who lives in that house and walks through those rooms and sits at a desk that has a name and a history? How do you relate to a person who, when he or she walks into a room, everyone stands and they play a song? Well, the answer to that question depends on your relationship to that person. Most of us, we call that the person who sits behind that desk, Mr. or Madam President. Now, take a look at this picture. This is one of the most memorable images in presidential history. It's famous for lots of reasons. It's, it's presidential. It features a president who not long after was assassinated but perhaps the thing that makes it so iconic is that it presents a stark contrast between the inapproachability of the most powerful office in the world and the unfettered access a child has to his father. The little boy playing under the desk, John John, didn't call the man sitting behind the desk Mr. President. He called him Dad. So, what do you call the most powerful being in the universe? Jesus said, you call him Father. Whatever else is going on in your life right now, whatever else is going on in the world, no matter how hard or hopeless life seems, you are welcome to walk right into God's office. No appointment necessary. You are not an intrusion. You're his child. Not a sermon, just a thought.